What's up, everyone? It's Monday, February 27th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. Um, today's been a bit of a challenge so far, just dealing with some logistics and, uh, and relationship stuff, but, you know, that stuff's going to come up, and what I realized is I need to schedule some time into my life t for things to go wrong. <laughs> because um, the problem right now is if, if things go perfectly then I'm all good on my practice and production time but if things go wrong then that sometimes compromises it so um, I'm realizing like I, I just need to make a couple adjustments uh, get to bed a little earlier on Sundays get up a little earlier on Mondays um, just to make sure like if things come up which things you know things come up um, that I have the bandwidth to, to manage that and then if things don't come up then I'm ahead of the game instead of like being on top of the game and then if things come up then I'm behind like that just isn't going to work long term so making some adjustments that's what it's all about making mistakes learning improving and that's what we're here to do so um, speaking of that let's get into some online classwork Today's going to be a guitar day going to do a little bit of work on that probably going to compress that a little bit so I can have some production time because my practice session is a little shorter than I would like it to be. And big goal today is um, I'm working on a bass line for a new track that I'm doing. And I want to AB how this sounds, the actual bass, with my virtual bass uh, octave pedal on my guitar. Because I, I was mentioning this at the end of the last video, I think it's just easier for me to get the inflections that I want with the guitar strings because I play guitar more. And also the strings are just easier to move around to, to get those inflections. Uh, but the slides aren't always as convincing because this bass is fretless, whereas the guitar obviously has frets. So I'm going to play around with that and try to find the optimal balance. I just really want this bass line to pop. I just want it to be as, as dope as it possibly can be because um, it's really going to set the track off at, uh, at the beginning. And, and let's be honest, if we can set off every moment in the song, then it's going to be a really good song. <laughs> so that's really the goal right now. Um, so let's, uh, let's not mince words, let's get right into it. Okay, a uh, really compressed session here, but learning a little bit about some recording techniques from my music technology class. Really useful. Um, again, just hitting the basics hard, making sure I understand those as best as I possibly, possibly can. Um, then looking at my songwriting class uh, book, just thinking about some exercises that I want to do to incorporate some of those ideas into my playing and composition. And then doing some guitar work, just working on my control working on playing things really perfectly, working on doing a lot of reps, playing it right if I make a mistake. So, um, you know, a lot of what my practice was today it was sort of Im improvisational. It's like the troubleshooting method where you just play, and then when you hear something you don't like, you go and you try to fix it. Or if there's some idea you can't get across, then you spend time really working on that, getting it perfect, slowing it down, and then gradually speeding it back up and just working on control and um, what I'm really focusing on right now is when I make a mistake not just fixing it and playing it right once but playing it perfectly like t uh, 10 or 11 times in a row to really lock in the, the right way of doing it and I don't know if that's the most efficient way I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit but um, that definitely you know seems like the right way to go right now so um, just took a really short break, read a little bit, and now I'm going to get in on the production front and work on this bass line. I think my big goal for today is just going to be to get a reasonably good sound out of the pedal because I don't know that I've, it's, I don't know that it's wise for me to try to track anything right now, but I can relatively easily track it tomorrow if I get the sound dialed in. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now, and then I'm probably going to stop for the day and um, just you know take my loss <laughs> today on the practice time front and then just, you know, get it right tomorrow basically, pick up where I left off. So um, let's do this.